Is it what? A gaggle of radios. A gaggle of radios. Good morning, Bear Nation. It is, I guess, the beginning of day one since we weren't on on site full time yesterday. We are at our fob. I'm telling you, every time we do this, we just like keep upgrading. We've gone from tents to a half-destroyed church to a <clears throat> um, what was that? County fairgrounds, and now we've got a. Uh, the Community Civic Center slash National Guard Armory. I'll take it, super cool. We are headed into um, Rolling Fork, Mississippi this morning to go do more recon and target identification so we can start tasking out teams. We have people from all over the place arriving today to, uh, when I say all over the place, I mean from all over the country arriving today to assist. And we have, let's see, a Cat 279 skid steer with a grapple and a bucket and forks coming. Another track skid steer with uh, a grapple coming. A big wheel loader. Hey, somebody from across the country just arrived. A big uh, wheel loader from uh, with a bucket and forks coming. A 20,000 pound track hoe with a thumb coming. And I don't know what else, but we need y'all. Admin at grindstoneministries.com to come on deployment. I need SAW teams, I need operators, I need logistics people, medical personnel, and logistical support at the FOB. Bad, super bad. Hey, you wanna say hi real quick? Since you just hopped out the vehicle? It's becoming a thing. What's going on, guys? Who are you? The uh, Black Prepper. The Black Prepper. <laughs> it's cool. Every time we do these things, he's like, I'm up, and then he's up. So, we're about to head into uh, Rolling Fork, drink some of this coffee we're making on the back of the truck, and get after it. An adult that, have that was a neighborhood. Is that pickup truck on top of that Connex box over there? Whatever that was. And uh, don't look much better on the other side of the street. Still got search and rescue over here. Yeah, as of yesterday evening, search and rescue is still ongoing. This is the town of That was a neighborhood. Was a neighborhood. Worthington Avenue. The point at east, so that'd be the south. Here at the uh, county courthouse, looking at uh, the debris, consulting with uh, the locals in the state on what a debris plan should look like. And um, we'll be working up target packages this afternoon. They're gonna do a distribution site through here momentarily. Traffic control is huge. It's a huge issue 
right now. So, after we get traffic control and authorization for Grindstone to do what it does, sort it out, then uh, we recon this afternoon to start putting together uh, target packets so that we can get in the field tomorrow and start working. But uh, right now, because of the scale of the storm and the involvement of FEMA, uh, nobody is entirely sure who's in charge. So we're trying to figure out the logistics of that right now because it just somebody just needs to be in charge. Somebody needs to coordinate all the people who need help and all the people who want to give help. And at least right now, that's what Grindstone is doing today is consulting in that capacity, seeing that this is our 37th deployment. This is their first go round. They've not done this before, but we have. So if we can give them some pointers, some tips and tricks and hints about what to do and how to do it and what works and what doesn't work, and that helps move the ball down the field, that's what we're doing this morning. Oh, I forgot to mention, we absolutely need volunteers. Um, the, there are not enough responders here and the ones that are here are gonna be smoked within the next 24 hours because they'll be 72 hours in and historically people just fall right off at that 72 hour mark. So we need saw teams, we need heavy equipment operators, we need medical personnel, logistics people, real bad. And I'm talking to you, Bear Nation, we need you. GrindstoneMinistries.com, drop us an email at admin at GrindstoneMinistries.com and if you want to donate to the relief effort, you can do that, hit the donate button at grindstoneministries.com, link in the description. Uh, that's a semi on top of another semi on top of what was a house, it appears. And we're also gonna go playing in it, apparently. Maybe that was his truck? That was another, that was a bus. This here? On the left. So this is just a few blocks off of uh, downtown, just to the north northeast of downtown of uh, Rolling Fork, Mississippi. If you live in an area that gets tornadoes, please get a storm shelter or know where you're gonna go. Like ha have a strong point. The gift. And uh, we're in the governor's convoy. Headed back to the uh, courthouse, so hopefully we can go talk to some decision makers. We've got one member of the Bear Nation who knows a lot of these people who shall remain nameless, but who has been a massive help to us to this point. And um, yeah, we're going to go try and talk to some decision makers about what they can do to get the ball rolling out here. They just finished search and rescue and they're just starting assessments now and they expect that to take another 24 to 48 hours and that's a long ass time. Okay, out here in the country we found uh, a couple of houses, one completely destroyed and one with the roof peeled and we're gonna go ahead and get started with that now. Our awesome three-man crew of myself, Jode, and AP in the back who doesn't wanna, you wanna say hi or what? No, he's got an earbud in or something. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got to get this uh, roof tarped because it's supposed to rain like six tonight. Yeah. Six tonight, and it's 1.20 in the afternoon. So we got to go chase materials real quick, uh, get the roof tarped, and then tomorrow we'll be out here on vegetative debris while also continuing to work up targets. So, uh, here's that job site snap the power pole twice once there once there then once there that's a significant amount of force I just cut the power off it was dead just got the wires out of the way and we went and acquired some tarps so that we can tarp this roof because it's supposed to rain 5 or 6 p.m. tonight and it's uh 2.30 now, and now AP and Jody are squaring this post back up, Then we got to figure out what to do with this one, or these two, because you might have noticed 
they're not where they're supposed to be. Because uh, if we get up on that part of the roof and it collapses onto this lady's car, she's going to have problems. We're going to have problems. I'll take a quick spin around. More drop wires on the ground here. I'll cut them back. And then, I mean, you could see the twist in the tree. Like it ripped the tree in half. Just the way that came apart. And for, I don't know, for comparison's sake, that trunk before it ripped down here at the bottom was probably 30, 32 inches in diameter. And uh, yeah, some stuff back here. And we've been trying to get to this site for, well, three times we got stymied, and then the fourth time we figured out a way to get in here because, uh, and we knew because we were getting blocked that there must be something good over here. There was some work to be done over here. And this lady's nephew lives over here, or lived over here, as you can see. There's not much left over there, so we'll be starting over there tomorrow when our heavy equipment arrives as well. So, right now, I need to put this phone down and get to work because we got to get uh, a tarp put up on that so she doesn't lose everything that's inside the house. Out here in the country, where we like it. We're just about done. I came down to fire the truck up, but getting this roof tarped and it is starting to pour. Another storm moving in. That looks lovely. That looks great. All right, we gotta go. We gotta bounce. Oh look, traffic control. Yet again, another problem. Back at the fob, end of uh, day one. There are now four of us on site and we should be 10 by the morning. And my hope is that there's double that by this time tomorrow night. Oh, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. We need y'all, this is a big one. GrindstoneMinistries.com, thank you. Bless you, look at that sunset. Look at that sunset. That is so cool. Oh, it stopped raining, by the way. Anyway, I gotta call my wife, tell her I love her, talk to my kiddos, and uh, I don't know, take a nap or so. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us and what we do at Grindstone. I say it every time, but I mean it, we'd be dead in the water without y'all. Thank you for every one of you who prays. Thank you for every one of you who donates materials. Thank you to every one of you who shows up on a work site. Thank you to every one of you who donates. Thank you to every one of you who watches and shares these videos. We'd be done for without you. And I'm done for right now. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Bless y'all. Shalom.